So Hamad's entrance move uh, music is the theme from Aladdin, A Whole New World. That is genius. <laughs> oh my god. Oh no. <laughs> Shouts out to Universe. Oh my god. Comes in on his magic carpet. Thank you, carpet. These guys are lucky that I blew my voice out yesterday. I would totally be down for this right You're now. You're going to belt it out, huh? Oh, yeah. I could, uh, I could see that, yeah. yeah. Of course, Hamad is, is here from, you know, he lives in Houston now, but from Kuwait. You know him. You love him. The champ is here. You can't see Justin Wong coming in. The marquee player of EG and the United States' finest fighting game player, I believe, in all of existence. He's here to kick butt and take names, and Hamad's name is on his list right now. You mentioned the history here. Relatively recently, you know, Hamad jumped onto the big stage. He's yeah. been a good player for a while, but yeah. he's, he really sort of just turned it on in the past year. Yeah, and he's comfortable there, at the, there oh. right or right in the, the pecking order with some yeah. of the best. Yeah, I, I agree with that. Uh, and he did beat Justin at a major he not did. end of last year, I want to say. Maybe early this year. I can't recall quite now, but it did happen. I think it was January. Was it January? Okay. I think it might have been. So this is our is that main KIT? Yeah, there you go. event. Of the evening. Who will emerge a champion? On the player two side, from Santa Monica, California, representing evil geniuses, Justin Wong. And on the one player side, from Houston, Texas, representing dust or display lag sometimes. <laughs> Hamad! So Hamad Faye, but Justin, oh, I was just gonna, I was just gonna ask, will it be Rufus or Rose? I like the Rose pick. I think that's the better choice. It's but a we'll long see. set. It He's is. Got uh, some time to make his choices. He's gonna start it off with the Rose. Of course. A lot of people are fans of Justin, but a lot of people are friends with Hamad. He's a local player. Oh, yeah. He's going to have the scene behind him. For sure. Justin's definitely going to be no stranger to that. Oh, yeah. He's going to have to fight the crowd as well as his opponent. Yeah. And he's really going to slow it with this character pick. You know, his Rose, you, you can play pressure Rose, but that doesn't really yeah. seem like the kind of Rose that Justin wants to play. He wants to play third strike Chun. Mm -hmm. yeah. Matchup, of course, shown and popularized by Luffy against a slew of Japanese plays. He's had a lot of success, so that's definitely going to be the model for Justin in this set. Nice there on the tip. Ahmad with the challenge. Answering back. Corner push. Back throw. What's the setup? Just conservative play. Very nice time to put out the orbs. Get him out safely and then create pressure behind him. Now, when Justin started picking up Rose, the use of orbs was not there. I mean, he had the buttons, okay, he has great footsies, spacing, etc. The orbs usage, you know, that that could be improved. So I'm interested to see how improved that is. There, he, he got some useful stuff out of it. Oh, wow. Hamad with the conversion into the corner already. Oh, Justin puts up a nice little wall. Good choice from Hamad there. Yes. Recognized Justin. Started to commit to the heavy buttons. Charged up a little focus. Got himself a crumple. Right back into things. Well, the back dash is there for Justin and no option select from Hamad. Justin right back in the fight in shape. Puts the orbs up and he's got a meter to work with. Hamad. Meter, plenty, plenty of meters to burn. Let's see how he responds. 
Oh, yeah, you see, he's just a little bit off there. Yeah. So we've seen a couple of jump shorts from Hamad, and that traded with Crouching Fierce. Might have done some homework and you know found a button that could that could handle things. Yeah, the way that that looked, it didn't look like it would be the most reliable one for Rose because of the way that the, the positioning was of the hitboxes. Plenty of meter for Hamad. Got to got to think about that FADC. Couldn't work come. his way in. Justin checking the approach. Game one. So nice first round from Justin. I mean, it really went according to plan. He just sort of kept Hamad out. He was pressing roundhouse a bunch. And there was some slide in there. That was a lot of what happened yep, yep. in that game. But that's what Justin wants. Yeah. Looking a lot differently now, Hamad with a sizable lead. The issue is, though, you see now Hamad, he's... He's not go he's not happy to just sit on this lead. It's stay long. You know, you, you want to seal the deal, but just as happy if you're gonna come in. He's got great length on these uh, buttons, so it'll at least give him an opportunity to hurt you on the way in. Had a little counter poke there. That's I like the idea of getting through like that, but that's just not the right range. Yeah, I mean, Hamas just giving away a lot of life to Justin. Really trying to approach from outside of his sweet spot. Justin will take that all the way. A little bit late there. Oh, focus back to How about that? That is so good for Justin. Not only does he get away, get away, but Hamad spent a couple of bars. Great, great, great. Dash up strong. Recognize it when he can take a little bit of leverage. Dash up. Gain some space. There's the focus. Definitely one thing that she'll have to worry about. Backdash in the corner goes unpunished. There it is again. Now Already in the corner, so might as well go for the better damage. Yeah. Justin's definitely going to have to think twice about that stand roundhouse now. Backdash. Orbs up. Give himself some room to breathe. I like Hamad just walking up and blocking. You know, Justin really just hasn't shown that much control with the orbs, that, much, that many threats with the orbs. Yeah, again, just a little bit misplaced. That was nice. Again. Justin looking to make contact. Justin almost on super as well. And once that happens, Ahmad's gonna have to be pretty cautious. I mean, he is pretty careful right now. Great defense from Hamad. Fought his way out of the corner. And finds that EX Rekka. Justin starting though with the full super. Yeah, as soon as he put the orbs up, he threw out a couple of reflectors just to get that meter. Make sure he went into this third round with meter to spare in case things went that way. And here they are. Now he's done that one fireball. He's implied the threat of it. And now he's probably be looking to for the anti-fireball bait. Went for the roundhouse and Hamad found the Rekka instead. From oh! There. Not quite there. Oh, wow. Couple of misses there. Goes back to the stand roundhouse. Forces a jump. Good anti air. Yeah, this, I just feel like this is really Justin's game. You know, this is his style. That's that's where people look. People have been telling him to pick a different character for years, and it's because we know how strong he is at this range. Whoever is like the strongest mid range lamey type character per version. Justin, why don't you play this one? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And one, one thing also, an you know, interesting addition to that control, is I like we're starting to see some of that mobility that Rose can, can bring in as well with the back dash, the forward dash is very quick. Okay, not much time left, but Hamad is exactly where he needs to be, safe. Ooh, Justin trying to fight back. Nice use of the EX there. Very good stutters here to try to close it out. But he can't keep him off of him for too long. Five seconds, but the EX advantage on Hamad. He can't take another chip. Oh, the block! Oh, where was the fo where was the Rekka? He went committed to the overhead, but he actually had a couple of uh, whiff punish EX Rekka opportunities, and he went down with the meter. 
It might have been a case where he, like he had an idea in mind of what he was gonna close with, and it wasn't the right one. Oh, all the way through to the third bracket. That's an easy punish. Catches a back dash there. Justin really pulling ahead in the set here. Really setting the tone, establishing control. Now that's a mistake. His chance, an opening for Hamad. Nice, through the fireball. The link is good. Can go to work here in the corner. I, I like that little setup. San Roundhouse puts him very far away, can get the orbs up. See how much challenge, uh, challenging with that crouch mini pick. It didn't turn into anything, but I like that he's willing to do that. You know, you have to do that against any Rose with orbs up, but Justin still hasn't shown that he has enough control over them to make them a big threat. There's a nice record and found a lot of success with just some good ground pokes. Tough game to play against Rose, but the round went in his favor. Again, finds that focus on that stand roundhouse. It's too good to put away. Justin's still gonna have to do it, so you gotta, you've got to try to challenge it with that focus. Ahmad's finding some opportunities. Nice answer. Oh, doesn't get that punish. Justin, Justin's got an orb. Definitely wants to put it up. There it is. Yep. Pretty safe way to make it happen. The question is, I mean, look, he'll he'll get out of the corner, which is nice, just in and of itself. But the rest of it just isn't there yet. Players are getting so good at challenging those orbs now. Oh, punish. He's got a meter for EX chip. Yeah, he does, and he'll he'll soon have two. Once he gets two, I mean, that's enough meter to just chip out. Well, not quite. Needs maybe one more hit. Oh, there it is. So Hamad takes the game. Yeah, Justin's been pretty conservative with the anti-airs, and Hamad's been placing them very well. So Justin has been respecting him, looking to walk back in a lot of cases rather than try to challenge him. But in that, in that position, he just went for it. And the trade was there. So Hamad is really... It looks really familiar with this matchup. Looks like he's put uh, some uh, study in the lab. Okay. Unfortunate there. There's the crumple again. And just like that, in the corner, Justin smartly walks forward just a little bit. Yeah, great response. Cornered again, though. EX records are good. Work on the defense. Oh, oh, this guy! That medium punch. Put the read on him. Put the fierce on him. Nice. Very nice recovery by Hamad over the last couple of rounds. Yeah, he's still here. First, you know, first couple of rounds was really just Justin zoning out and sliding to where he wanted to be and doing everything. Yeah. And since then, Hamad has done a much better job at challenging those buttons and moving at different times, being outside of those and with punishing. He's looking good. Up. He's changing, changing up his approaches. Playing smart on the fly. Justin's doing this just to try to get some room to breathe. And Hamad, not going to give it to him. Counter hit strong. Again, full super right now. If he should, should so want to use it. It's not easy to come in, get, uh, coming back as Justin plays Rose. I mean, that's what I would imagine. You know, he's playing a footsie game, a yeah. buttons game. Yeah. But Hamad doesn't need to get hit by those unless you know he walks into them of his own accord. Yeah. She's just not that, that explosive power character. Uh, she can get in there and play grab games, and she can play you know, close medium kick games. It's possible, but that doesn't really seem like Justin's wheelhouse yet. That's right, we haven't really seen too many of the setups, like the, the back throw, jump, medium kick, empty jump, close medium kick, or, or grab or anything like that. Very nice round and a, and a nice answer from Hamad. Yeah, it's tied up. Champion, fight! 
Justin's still sticking with that roundhouse, and Hamada's gone into focus a lot. We'll see if he adapts to it, or if uh, it just stays as such. You know, he, he does have the drill. He can try to bait out some of the focus and try to drill from that range. Missed the link. Really getting back down. And and just these these angles that Justin doesn't want to anti-air at because these these trades are not getting Fei Long very far out of his face. And he wants some room to breathe. So the, the orbs were just what he wanted. Hamad finds the focus though. Out of meter. Hamad is. Doesn't look like he's gonna need it. He'll probably EX Raka. Great challenges from Justin with the anti-air. He's had down fierce at the right range. Yeah. The jump just before that when Hamad was just out of range, right. but did jump strong. Ju Justin had anti-air there. That might not have worked out for him. So he's, he's keeping his eyes on that. That's good. Yeah, he can vary his hitbox because of that move. I like to call that the flying dragon, the shades of Bruce Lee, the jump roundhouse right there. Such extension. Great in uh, the fireball war. It's definitely giving Justin a little bit of pause and uh, his fireball game. Went for the jump strong right there. Good anti air for Justin. Nice punish. Yeah, for sure. Good damage. And a throw. Oh, there's, there's that, that close medium, medium. But, yeah, but he misses his link. Ahmad, again, exactly where he wants to be. He's got to deal with Justin, who has full super, but you don't, you know, Justin doesn't want to use super right now. He's got to save that for the next round. That's confirmed. But we'll see, you know, if he can battle in here and cause Justin Wong to spend bar, and he did. So that's, I mean, already that's a good look for him. He ended up losing the round, but he got a lot more effectively because the next round is, you know, he's starting with full super. Justin only won. Still, Justin looks so comfortable in the neutral game. A bit of a surprise there with the crush board FADC caught Justin unaware. He's not asleep for long. Justin with the challenge. Another knockdown. Nice life advantage. There's the close medium kick. Oh, finds the link, but he misses the easy part. Falls play to the Rekas here. Oh, so just yes. shy of the crumple. I really like that round from Justin because he he went in a little bit more. Uh -huh. It was more active. Close, medium kick, and a link. I mean, you know, he didn't get the full link, but I like that he's willing to do it. The back dash is better. The mobility to whiff to, to bait things out. Yeah. That that's important. Yeah, and it's clear that he's playing this set with Rose in some ways. It's kind of like experience gathering. You know, this is a strong opponent, and this is still the character that he's learning. So this is. This is him still leveling up his sure. row, so maybe by the end of the set he'll have that, but either way, this is going to be better for him in the long run. Oh, you don't want to do that, the jump back in the corner. Definitely not with the floaty jumps. There's a crumple again, going to the same roundhouse, I'm out, will make you pay for oh. it. And he's going to start the next round fully stocked this time. Having a much closer set here in the main event at UFN. Hamad up around, trying to get another equalizer. Justin still going back to that footsie game that he knows so well. The sand roundhouse is even getting mileage out of the crush roundhouse. And that air is good. He'll take that trade. Yeah, in that, in that situation, sure. With this life lead and stun, no threat, he'll take those all day. Hamad just having a tough time finding really anything to challenge these long range pokes outside of the focus. Works his way in with a wreck and finds a counter hit. He's gonna need a couple of more. He's got the corner now. One more wreck to push, and now he can do something, but he's out of meter. Oh, just Justin, trying to battle. You know, nice he rally. Okay, yeah, Justin finds it this time. Ultra 2, here it is. Over the Are you gonna top. go for side for side mix up? Okay! Now he got oh, him! He got him! Crouching short, OS, Ultra 1. Chip damage is just gonna seal it here. Technical player! Okay. Come on, but he didn't OS that one. Giving Justin one more chance here. Oh, oh he tried to shut that racket through. Tried to chance the orb. Oh, there you know what? Yes. In that situation, I, well, maybe she could have backdashed, honestly. I'm not sure if she would have been out of range. I'm not sure what the EX, but right. he, he walks too close. Right. He needed to just stay clear. 
It's like he was going up to threaten for a close medium kick or grab, yes. but yeah. Put himself into the checkmate position. And like we said, we got a close set here at the main event. Three games to three. Hamad coming out of Houston, a hometown hero, trying to send Justin Wong back to Santa Monica, a sad soldier of EG. Surprise record all the way to the corner. Oh, no whiff punish there on that roundhouse. It's gonna make Justin comfortable, throw it out. There's the, there's the response, he's charging that focus. That is his uh, weapon of choice now against the stand roundhouse. Justin has been more active. There have been more roundhouses in the last couple of rounds. Mm -hmm. He's been sliding around a little bit more, dashing around a little bit more. Yeah. And the last round, for example, I mean, he went in. So Justin is making some adjustments here and there. Yeah, at the start of the set, there was a lot of roundhouse from Justin, and then it seemed like a couple of games Hamad sort of neutralized them, and now we're, all, we're, we're back to the start. Yeah. Nice finds an opportunity to get himself a little bit of safety. Good combo. Justin now comfortable, 25 seconds. The last thing he can hope for is to just get over top to the corner, but the last hit of the flip kick while Justin hit the strong, it went over top of him. 14 seconds left, Justin with a very slight life lead. I love that FADC, he just wanted to inch himself forward. But he just gave up his invincible options, oh! oh! He got him again! He got him again, Justin went to the roundhouse, and Ahmad stopped him, he checked him. One second left on the clock. If you're gonna play that game, gonna have to uh, deal with these focuses. Right. Justin's a very uh, resilient player, and he recognizes just how strong the Sand Roundhouse is. And you know, Hamad's not gonna get a focus anywhere close to every time. No. So he's gonna shrug that one off, go right back into his game plan, and look at this, he's comfortable. Via Sand Roundhouse is implying a little bit of a message. Roundhouse is still good. Good answer. And I love the slide up just beforehand to get him into that exact range. Justin opening it up now. Taking a little bit of risk. Finding the payoff. Oh, we're right back to the focus in the roundhouse. And now with all the bar that Hamad has, if he gets a mix up here, he can close it out. We'll see what he gets. Oh, yes! Last hit will do it! Wow! Did he just wait? Yeah, he I, waited. I, he yeah, back, I think he, he just did. Caught the back dash. He just waited and said, "You're gonna back dash." I think he did. Yeah, that's something that Hamad that Hamad will do. You know, he's not afraid to take those risks. He look, he views these as long sets. Yeah. Individual decisions. Look, you know, like that. You close around. You win right. an entire game. This is, each game is a winner take all thing. You you get the game. Right. If he had lost that, you know. Not, not quite as not quite as severe. You know what, it was very smart because, I mean, the back dash was a very smart option in that instance, and Ahmad was, you know, giving respect to him, but also making the hard read. Rose doesn't have other options that are actually good. Plenty of things she could have done would have avoided that super, but they would not have been smart. High level Street Fighter for Hamad taking the lead, pulling out at front here at the main event. Trying to take a little bit too much of these liberties here against EG Justin Wong. Justin with the stop. And he's now got orbs up. Again, just a little bit misplaced, a little bit mistimed. Oh! He's looking much better with the orbs though here, seven games in. Just needs one more boot to hit. There it is. That's what Justin's been doing. It's been uh, very reliable for him. Walk back on the anti-air and then stop the approach with the crowd short. Very successful for him in this round. The slide under. Had a combo, recognized that he dropped it, saved himself with the FADC, and now he'll be looking for orbs. Justin Wong's rose, very, very no, no sweat type of character. Okay, build meter, I suppose. Are you kidding me? That is a genius move. 
Big risk. Justin, you know what? Ends up stealing it anyway. But I like that option from Hamad. That was amazing. I don't know that I've seen that before. No, I mean, I've never seen it in a response to a shimmy. Right. Not like that. Beautifully done. So we're going to the final right. game here. It all comes down to this. And they have had close sets in the past. Ahmad has won in the past. So it's fitting that it goes down to the final game here. Yeah. The previous sets we've had tonight. Five ones, five twos. This one's close. It's the main event for a reason. Justin with the punish. Oh no. Ahmad responds. Now we're right back to the neutral game. Slight lead for Justin. Utilizing the roundhouses. That might bring out the focus. Nice placement there. Oh, wow. Oh, Stan Fierce. Haven't seen a lot of that one. No, yeah. I think that might be the first time I've seen it this set. Justin with a sliver away. Boom. Orbs up. See what he gets out of this, if anything. He'll just take the meter. Oh, a little bit of damage, even better. And then safe after that. Yeah, I think Justin might be satisfied with that. Very close. The challenge. He didn't want to bet it. You know, he's been missing it. He and has. it's all down to the wire. This is a hallmark of Justin Wong. Oh, he's moving forward from it. Chasing Just, hey, Justin's happy to do this. Go. Justin's happy to do that. Nowhere to go. Nowhere to go. If he had blocked that, I mean, right after that, Rose could just done spiral, get the chip out. So that was not a good situation for Hamad. Match point, Justin Wong. Again, the walk back, crouch strong. That's his anti-air when he's not close enough. And when he is close enough, crouch fierce every time. There it is. Walk back, crouch short. Sorry, crouch short into the strong. Really, not a lot for Hamad to do against that. If he just wants to empty jump in uh, an uppercut, which I, I wouldn't put past Hamad. No, no. He might do that. Sure. But uh, it's it's just very smart. But much. Yeah, you're right. It's very consistent. Right into Justin Wong's style. You know, staying safe first. Very low risk. That's what he's all about with the throws. Okay, but here's Hamad now into the corner. Has full super. And Justin building that space again. There yeah, there you go. There you go. Oh, uh, Hamad has the corner still. Trying to keep that pressure. Trying to keep the pressure. Okay, Justin Wong closes it out a little bit. What will Hamad get though? He's challenged us really well. Hamad. Oh, catching uh, Jeff. Turns it into something good. Is that going to seal it? We're going to the final round. Hamad and EG Justin. I wouldn't have it any other way. We're going to the rubber round, ladies and gentlemen. Four games to four, one round of one. Hamad versus Justin Wong. You can hear the crowd is behind Hamad. The jump in. He's at least got some pressure. Justin forced the back test. Doesn't want to get cornered. Managing space beautifully. Slides himself forward. Hamad checks oh, him. Oh, no. Misses the combo, unfortunately, for Hamad. Could have turned that into something big. Some corner control. Didn't get it. And now he's fighting from behind. The sweep. The Justin Wong special. I'll sweep you. Oh! The OS! He's gonna... No! No! That backdash is too good. Walk up. Oh, he could have got more damage he out of that simple. punish. No, he just... Yeah. Justin's... I guess he's not ready for that. Uh-oh, but he's... Opening the door, just a crack! And you got it, you gotta make sure Justin doesn't get space, so he got oh, space. No. Now Hamad can't take almost any hit. Hello! Oh, he's in there! What a smart choice from Hamad! He can still make this happen! He's Justin paying patiently. Oh! There it is. There right it is. back to the game plan. The crouch short anti-air right on the tip. Tried and true, old reliable for Justin Wong. And he'll take it five games to four, but man, he had us on the edge of oh, yeah. our seats. What a sick match. Ladies and gentlemen, well, who am I kidding? Most and gentlemen. You know what? I, I really like how, how Hamad played a lot yeah. of that there. It was, it was a close set.